Is there what is happening? Is it true? Don't get scared my friend. These are just visuals and there is no war happening. Today we are going to talk about these brave soldiers of Indian Army and the regiment name is Naga Regiment often known as the Headhunters. Yes my friends and to know about them you need to watch the video till the end. Let me first of all welcome you to our channel The Voice, The Voice of Youth. This is your host Harshit Dhingon and yes this video we are specially making on request of our subscriber who said sir please make a video on the Naga Regiment and yes my friend because this channel is not my channel it's your channel and this channel is by the youth for the youth and hence we call it the voice of youth and that's the reason why my friend if you also have any request recommendation or suggestion do comment down below and if you feel they are very appealing we're gonna make the video on that topic as well and if you're new to our channel I request you guys we are on a mission to make the world a better place if you also want to join the mission and be a part of our growing family just hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon and now let's know about the glory of Naga regiment climbing the mountains with courage killing the target with perfection fighting hand to hand with the enemy with bravery these are Naga regiment the headhunters let's know what is Naga regiment Naga regiment is an infantry Regiment of Indian Army. Many will ask what is infantry regiment, isn't it? It simply means group of soldiers which serves in the field working to defend our country against any threats on the ground. They will capture, destroy and deter enemy forces. These are the ones who are protecting India from enemy nations like China and Pakistan. These are the biggest threat for them. Naga Regiment is among the youngest regiments of the Indian Army. The regiment recruits mainly from Nagaland in the Northeast India. How and when it is formed? In 1957, when the Naga Hills area was shimmering with insurgency, a convention of the Naga people took place and resulted in a charter of demands including statehood for Nagaland and a separate entity for Naga people in the Indian Defence Forces. During 1960, the delegation of Naga People Convention put forward a proposal for a separate regiment to fulfil their desire of playing a greater role in the armed forces. Nagaland attained its statehood in 1963 and the Naga Regiment was formed seven years later. Naga Regiment 1st Battalion was raised in Rani Ket Uttarakhand in 1970. 69 Nagas were enrolled directly from rehabilitation camps of underground Nagas. What makes Naga regiment so unique? The traditional Naga weapons, the Dao, the spear and the prestigious Mithun have been integrated into the regiment crest. The regiment colors are gold, green and gold. The gold signifies the rising sun, the green signifies the infantry and the red is the color of authority among Nagas. They are the one responsible to keep India safe from Pakistan and China. They have done many successful operations like Operation Romeo in Jammu and Kashmir, Indo-Pakistan War in 1971, UN Peace Mission, Kargil War with Pakistan 1999. Glory of Naga Regiment, The Headhunters Traditionally, Naga tribal used to keep the head skulls for two reasons. First, of their dead ancestors as mark of respect. Second, of dead enemy as mark of victory, hence name Headhunters. There is a very famous incident when two Nagas made enemies cry like hell. Let's hear the story of brave Captain Kangaroos who was an Indian Army officer of two Rajputana rifle who was awarded the Mahavir Chakra, India's highest gallantry award for exemplary bravery in combat during operations in the Kargil War in 1999 fighting with Pakistan. At the wartime, sad news was constantly coming 
about death of Indian Army soldier. When the seniors couldn't find any solution, then they called Captain Kangaroos because Indian Army is also aware of Naga bravery and honesty towards their duty. He was given the responsibility of taking out a strategic machine gun post held by the enemy on a cliff face, the Black Rock. Heavy gunfire from this position has been hindering the battalion progress in the sector for days and it was very crucial to neutralize this enemy position. The assigned task was extremely challenging as the gun post was on a cliff with a steep gradient and the path was open to enemy artillery fire. Captain Kangaroos took up the challenge and swung into action along with his spirited troops. About seven Pakistani bunkers stood before him and heavy artillery greeted their journey with the knife edge cliff of the hill. As they were nearing the bunker, a grenade was thrown at them which injured Captain Kangaroo severely. He sustained injuries in his abdomen and undeterred, he urged his men to carry on with the assault. As the commando team scaled the cliff, they came under intense mortar and automatic fire, which caused heavy casualties. However, Captain Kangaroo's leading from the front decimated the first bunker using a rocket launcher. Motivated by their leaders, the commando team moved on further up the cliff. On reaching the final cliff face, they were halted by a rock wall that separated them from the enemy machine gun post. They had to scale the wall to reach the enemy while securing the rope, enabling his men to climb over the face of the rock. Captain Kangaroo's foothold was slipping due to his boots. At height of 16,000 feet and a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius, Captain Kangaroo removed his shoes for better grip and scaled the rock barefoot. He reached on the cliff top first and thrown the rope for the complete troop so that they can engage the fire on the enemy. He fought with bravery and courage. The assigned mission was successful and the troops attributed their success to the leadership and the daredevil action of Captain Kangaroos. Martyred at age of 25 year, Captain Kangaroos was given the national second highest gallantry award, Mahavir Chakra for his raw courage, indomitable spirit and supreme sacrifice. Let's all remember him today and salute him in the comment box. Second brave Naga is still alive and his name is Subedar Imliakum Ao. He was born on 25th July 1976 in the village of Mokochong, Nagaland. His father is a retired state government employee and his mother is a homemaker. He has five siblings, four brothers and a sister. Two of his brothers are in Nagaland police, is in civil services and another is in the Indian army. Let's know the story of his bravery. Between the months of May and July 1999, Indian government launched Operation Vijay in the Kargil sector of Jammu and Kashmir. The Indian army, supported by the air force, had to recapture the areas of the Indian side on the line of control which had been infiltrated by Pakistani troops and militants. The 2nd Battalion of the Naga Regiment was one of the first units to be inducted into this area during the conflict. According to a Naga Regiment publication that described the operation, Sipoy Imliakum A approached the enemy sentry during broad daylight and killed him. Thereafter, he kept moving forward and killed one more sentry and subsequently stormed the mortar position along with the assault group. The elimination of the enemy personnel by Sipoy A was a big success, wherein three 120mm and two 81mm mortars were captured along with a huge stockpile of ammunition. The value action by Sipoy Imliakum Ao, which was a true demonstration of valor in the presence of well-entrenched enemy, the sole factor which paved the way for a successful raid on the enemy mortar position which led to the destruction of the enemy ammunition dump. So these are just few stories of two heroes and there are many Naga heroes like them. There is one more story in which Naga regiment captured two Pakistani soldiers and cut off his leg and literally barbecued on fire and later on that Pakistani soldier was sent back to tell the story. That's why whether it's China or Pakistan, both are scared of Naga regiment. So we salute to this brave Naga regiment and salute to the Indian army. Jai Hind! Do share this video to respect the bravery of Naga soldiers.
So guys, this was the glory of Naga Regiment and I believe you must be feeling proud if you are Naga or a person from Northeast. So guys, this was a special video on the request of a subscriber. Hope you like it and yes, if you really feel that this video make you feel proud, do share this video to your friends, family and relatives and let the love spread all around. And this is a motivational video. so. Hope you liked it. So that's all for now guys. If you really want to be a part of our channel, just hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. And yes, my friends, if you really want to know more about me in personal way, you can just go on Instagram and just say me hi. If you say me hi, I'm going to say you hi too. See you. Take care. Love always wins.